Hey everyone, back again with another small tool review, and uh, it's another Makita review. I know, I know, I, I'm i obsessed with the Makita brand, and that's okay. Everybody's got their thing. You know, I'm open to using all different tools. I've used plenty in the past between Ryobi and DeWalt and Milwaukee and, you know, countless other ones, and this is the brand that I feel and... It's all personal opinion. I feel is the best one for me in my line of work. So let's get into it. This is the Makita ratcheting screwdriver. And I don't know. I don't see one on the package of uh, like the actual technical name of it. But I think this is the only one that they've put out. And uh like I said in my last video, a lot of people were having a lot of problems right around here of it breaking. And I think that is mostly just from, you know, torquing it down too much, and which is something you never want to do with a ratcheting screwdriver. You know, it's a pretty delicate mechanism, and it's not, say, like, through-tanged, like most, like, just regular screwdrivers. But it comes in this little case which is actually one of the only gripes I have about this, is that these bits are difficult to get out of the case itself. You know, some of them on the end are kind of easy, but the ones here in the middle, you really gotta work out. Luckily for me, I always use a multi-tool, I've got a Leatherman in my pocket almost always, and I can just open it up and I can pull them right out of there if I need to, but I don't really think that's the best way they could have designed this, but it's got this really nice little magnetic bit holder with a quick change on it which of course you can use in your drills and anything else as well especially if like you're using just a standard drill and you wanted something more like an impact driver with just the quick changeability which is great comes with an assortment of hex driver bits and pretty much any size standard driver bit, Phillips, square, uh, Torx bits, flat. That's everything that it comes with right there. And like I said, I don't see a uh, an item number on this, so I can't really tell you what that is. But they're not very difficult to find. I got this one off of Amazon. And I've used it quite a few times now, and you can see it's a little beat up. But um, I've only had it for a couple of months, but it's really, uh, it's really been useful for me. Thank you all for watching. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff. Anything you want to see, I'd love to read your comments and uh, try and make that happen for you. Thank you all for watching.